Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to blend an image into a background. For example, in this video what I'll be doing is I'll be taking this couple here and I'll be putting them into the background of this uh, beach. So what I'll do is I'll simply go back to my image with my couple here and I'll select my rectangular marquee tool and I'll simply select the image and I'll go to edit and copy and now I'll go to my image with the beach and I'll go to edit and paste and now what I'll do is I'll go to edit transform and scale to enlarge this image I'll be holding down the shift key on my keyboard while holding the left mouse button and dragging up what this does is it actually preserves the aspect ratio of the image so I'll just position it where I want it and then I'll double click and now what I'll do is I'll actually select both layers like so by holding down the shift key and clicking both layers and then what I'll do is I'll go to layer align and I'll actually uh, align vertical center and if needed you can also align horizontal center and now what I'll do is I'll make sure that my image with the couple is selected and I'm simply going to lower the opacity to a desired level for example I would say that this looks just right right here at 66 percent and now what I'll do with this layer selected I'll go to the layer mask here and I'll click it and now I'll simply grab my brush tool here and I'll choose a brush size that I'm comfortable with you can play around with different brush sizes and I'll have my opacity set at 90 percent and I'll have my airbrush selected like so and I'll make sure that my paint is on black black is 0000000, 000, 000, 000, 000. that's six zeros and I'll simply paint over the image like so and then I'll release my left mouse button and I'll paint again to make certain lines go away like so and I'll actually hold down the left mouse button when I want to blend and I'll simply let go and click again when I want to get rid of certain areas like so and I'll simply keep painting until I'm happy with the overall look and if I decide to restore certain areas I'll simply choose white for my paint which is F F F F F which is six F's and I'll simply paint over the areas that I want to restore like so and then to fade away again I'll just enter in black and that's that so thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos and also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com